Hey guys, today I'm bringing you a review of the Batman v Superman Wonder Woman statue from Iron Studios. It's a one-tenth scale statue. Uh, these Iron Studios statues are not for the detail, but they're a bit smaller, but they look really great. As you can see from the picture right here, there's a picture of the statue when you open it up. And then you can see her, see her in the window there, in the Wonder Woman logo. And then you can see, like just like on the front and the sides, they have the... Basically the 3D model, the un unpainted 3D model on the box, and uh, some Brazil stuff there, and, uh, <laughs> and then the Batman v Superman logo. All right, uh, I'm gonna get this bad boy out of the box, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here she is out of the box, and she's looking really great, in my opinion. Um, lots of great details in the statue. Very, it's just amazing, like how they were able to sculpt and all the stuff on the uh, <clears throat> on the shield here. Even the little eagle that's in here, it's really hard to see probably, but there's a sculpted little design eagle in here, and um, just all the little designs, all the Greek, I'll show you, go ahead and show you, all the Greek, all the Greek insignias in there, and if you can see it, looking really great, a lot of battle damage, a lot of scarring, then you can see that eagle right there, it's really great. Um, Here's a look at her back. Her hair looks really great. A lot of different nice little different colors in there. It's kind of a uh, almost like a copperish color, I would say. It's very nice. Like his hair highlights, it's just a nice copper color. Um, the suit is actually a lot brighter than the DC Collectibles version, I would say. Um, it's not as muted the color, the, especially in the blues. The blues look a lot more blue, a lot deeper in the color, and actually the red. The red is probably about the same, um, as far as like how deep the color is. Let me get in focus there, geez. Um, yeah, and then uh, you can see there's still some battle damage and scarring there, here, 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 here. Some there. Yeah, the blue just looks like a lot better. It's very nice. And then some, she got some great battle damage on the boots here. Just fucking great. Uh, I really like the golds on it too. The golds are very nice. And the, the red is actually more of a, like a maroon, like a nice, really dark red. It looks really good as a contrast to the gold, though. I will give them that. And then uh, I'll show you the bottom of the base really quick. Yeah, nothing too great. Um, <clears throat> so, one thing to note that, oh, well, actually, look at the, look at the gauntlets. Some great damage there too. Look at that. Looks great. The skin tone is actually very nice too. I think I like the skin tone on this one better than a DC collectible statue as well. Um, so the face, I would say though that the face on the DC collectibles is actually better on, than on this particular statue. Um, doesn't really look like Gal Gadot. I mean, it looks like Wonder Woman, like basically a comic book Wonder Woman. It would definitely get a pass as that, but as far as Gal Gadot, it doesn't really, in my opinion, doesn't really wash as a, uh, a good likeness for Gal Gadot. As you see, like, the tiara there. The statue is one-tenth scale, by the way, so that's so about, like, a six-inch, seven-inch figure, basically. Look at this. Nice sculpting. I don't think this is leather, but it's really nicely sculpted, and it's kind of attached to the, uh, to the lasso here. It looks really great. Um... Yeah, it looks really great. So if you're, and then another thing, like, another thing, they did the smart thing too. Uh, just like the DC Collectible statue, this comes out. Uh, however, the difference is this isn't flimsy. This is a lot more sturdy. And this is a lot better than the DC Collectibles, actually. It's a lot sturdy, and actually this is really pointy. Like, you could probably, you know, really probably poke yourself on it, or if a kid did it, because you know how stupid kids are. They're going in and like, hey, daddy, like that, you know, and then like, all of a sudden you get a bleeding, crying child. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the go-ahead and give the recommendation to get this statue. Um, it's a great statue. Um, I think if you're not into having stuff that are 1-6 scale, those, you know, the big giants, you know, 12 to 13-inch statues that DC Collectibles offers, this is definitely a great alternative. Um, the paint is really great. You know, the details are very, very nice in the statue. This is one good thing that Iron Studios does very, very well, is get detail and paint, paint and apps and stuff like that. Very great. Um, so and this is actually this you can probably get this for about 100 I, I got mine for 104 dollars in big bad toy store I know that they're 
they're actually sold out now. They actually been sold out for a while, but you can probably get one for about the same amount of money on eBay. Um, as opposed to the DC collectible statue, which is probably about like a hundred, depending on who you get it from. I know Big Bad Toy Store is like one nineteen. Um, you can probably, I mean, it can go up to like one fifty if you look on eBay. But I think if you're not into the six scale statues, you could, you should definitely get this one. You know, it's smaller and it won't overtake your collection. If you know, you don't have, you only have so much room for your collection and stuff like that. Um, I definitely think you should probably go for this one. It looks great and uh, very good detail and. Um, yeah, definitely give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe down there. And uh, anyway, talk to you guys later. Have a great day.